When this old film was taken in the early 20th century, Adelaide was having a pretty good time. There was money around from copper mining and farming, and plans were unveiled for a magnificent movie theatre called The Princess on a vacant block opposite the market in Grote Street. But strangely, by the time it was opened in September 1913, the screen had been swapped for a stage, the name had been changed to the Tivoli, and a century of live entertainment for Adelaide was well and truly underway. In that 100 years since, the venue we now call Her Majesty's Theatre has had several owners and several names, seen everything from circus to ballet, opera to rock and tragedy to comedy, and has managed to retain its charm and reputation as one of Australia's best. It's Barry Humphrey's favourite theatre in Australia, possibly because it's where he got his start, as did Sir Robert Helpman, actor Keith Michelle and entertainer Bobby Lim. A man who knows Her Majesty's better than anyone else is the theatre's head machinist, Kelvin Adams, who's been there for decades. To say he knows the ropes is a pretty horrible pun, but it's true. He knows every nook and cranny of this building and all of its secrets, like the identity of the resident ghost. We believe it was an engineer that died here on the opening night of the theatre in 1913. He fell from a ladder and they held the curtain on opening night for half an hour while the ambulance came and took him to hospital. For some people, a stage like this is a place of absolute terror, but for others, it's where they just come alive. And when I think of all the amazing performers who have been on this stage, from showgirls through to Shakespearean actors, there's one name that really stands out for me. W.C. Fields trod the boards of Her Majesty's Theatre right here. How good would that have been? Mind you, the list of those who have graced this theatre is mighty impressive. And past the dressing rooms, down the stairs and below the stage, they've left their mark. Kelvin, one of the lovely traditions of this theatre is your famous autograph wall. Just oh. walk us and talk us through some of the names that are appearing here. Well, we've got Barry Humphreys has been here sort of uh, several times. He loves this theatre, doesn't he? He does. Just the right size for him and it seems to work very well for him. And we've got uh, Lauren McCall back here as we've well. We've got Lauren McCall. Whoopi Goldberg was sort of Was another. she lovely? Oh, she was. Spike Milligan was a really nice Was he as crazy with. behind the stage as he was on the stage? Yes, yes, he was. When he signed the wall, he signed it in 1908. Now, the <laughs> theatre wasn't built then, but what he said, this will fool them. And uh, people often like they'll sort of uh, save a program, but programs get tossed out and yeah. clean ups, but the wall was here all the time. This is a bit like the wall you have at home that measures how high your children are exactly. when you grow up. This is the wall yeah. that measures all of the great stars yeah. who have been at this theatre. As this grand old lady of Grote Street approaches her 100th birthday, it's worth remembering that in the late 1970s, Her Majesty's was on the market and under threat. And as Kelvin reminds us, if the Dunstan government hadn't stepped in, she may have been reduced to rubble. I think the people of Adelaide should sort of fell you what we've got here because it is a lovely theatre. It was very lucky that it got saved. It could have been knocked down. It could be a car park now. You know this theatre better than anybody else in Adelaide. If Her Majesty's was a woman, how would you describe her? When she was young, she was young and tizzy. Yeah. I'd say now stately and refined. And finally, something to ponder as this amazing milestone draws near. I don't think people send telegrams anymore, but if they did, do you reckon Her Majesty's would get one from Her Majesty?